Hey everyone and welcome. It's Bubs here and it's a makeup video. I know I don't do these that often but I miss showing you guys my makeup because sometimes I do something cute and you guys love it and comment on it but you guys don't want to watch it so I'm confused but hey I think I'm just going to continue to put out stuff I enjoy as well and hopefully you know you guys will come around. So <laughs> we're going to get started. My face has already been cleansed and moisturized and now I'm just going to add the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I really want my makeup to last today. It's hot. It's a, It was a hot day. I remember. I remember it was very hot so I want my makeup to last. So I'm just going to spray this all over before applying the Urban Decay Primer. Now this is actually a new primer for me. I typically don't use too many creamy based primers. Uh, this one says that it's long wearing and I actually do find that the makeup does stick very well to this. This isn't drying at all either which I appreciate because I already have dry skin. I don't need anything drying on my face so this actually just smooths right in like a lotion. So now I'm just covering up a couple of blemishes. Um, I, my face has been breaking out a lot because I am pregnant. I cannot wait <laughs> till this baby gets out and I get my skin back. Okay, so I'm just going to use this concealer to cover up those blemishes. And this is just going to help the foundation apply more evenly so I'm not getting a lot of dark marks underneath the foundation and I don't have to apply so many layers of my foundation as well. Now for foundation, I've been loving the Juvia's Place foundation in Togo. This is like my perfect skin match. It blends into my skin so well. I've been loving this ever since I received it. Thank you so much Juvia's Place for sending this my way. When I run out of this, uh, I'm going to pick it up. So I'm just using a flat top brush to blend this into my skin. And when I am blending, I'm just patting the foundation in. I'm patting and moving, patting, patting, patting to ensure that I'm still getting the coverage of this product and that everything's blended well. Now going in with some concealer, also from Juvia's Place, I'm going to use this to highlight. I take it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, in between my brows, a little bit on my forehead, on my chin, and underneath where I'm going to apply my contour. The reason why I apply a little underneath my contour is just so my contour can stand out a lot more. Just so my cheeks can look more defined. And I'm doing the same thing, I'm just patting the product into my skin. You really just want to pat pat and pat it in. Um, blending is key when it comes to makeup application. You really just want to keep blending until you don't see any lines. And a great tip to ensure that you're blended well, take a picture with your phone with the flash on, okay? <laughs> Put the flash on your phone and take a picture. It will show every last thing, okay? And you'll see if you're really blended. Now I'm just taking this powder from Juvia's Place, which is more brightening for me. It's in the color Kalahari. I like it. I like that brightening effect underneath my eyes. I'm going to press it into my skin first and then add another layer on top just to ensure that it's actually brightening underneath my eyes. And with powder, I do the same thing. I just pat it into my skin. You don't want to blend and buff. You really want to pat it in because if you blend, you can pick up some of your foundation. You want to just press it into your skin. I told you before I really wanted this foundation to last so I'm using Urban Decay's waterproof setting powder to really press everything in and to set my face completely. I just started using this as well and it actually works really well. I do love the texture and it's smooth and it does not cause me any cakiness anywhere. Now for contour, I, I, I skipped a step guys. I was supposed to add my concealer then contour cream and then powder. I messed up, okay? <laughs> I'm using another cream over top of powder. Don't be like me, don't do that. You don't wanna add a cream over top of a powder. It's very hard to blend and you can get patchiness, but hey, we're gonna work with it. I'm pressing it into my skin. Like I said, I pat everything into my skin and to ensure that I'm blending everything. I will have to go back in with my foundation brush just to ensure I'm not getting anywhere lines. I'm gonna have to reset some areas too, but hey, no biggie, it still came out really good. 
Now for my contour, I've been using this contour palette for a while now and this deep shade just works so well. It's from Black Radiance. You can get this from your drugstore and I'm just going to apply this in the areas I applied the cream contour. I will go in with my setting powder, my loose setting powder again, just to carve out my contour even further. Now for blush, I usually use an eyeshadow palette for blush. I don't have any blushes currently in my stash, so I just use eyeshadow palettes as blushes because, hey, why not? And I'm just going to take this color and just blend it all over my nose and my cheekbones. Now taking the same color, I'm going to use it for my eyelids as well. I'm taking it into the crease and I'm going to blend it into my crease. Blend, 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 and just blow it out all over. I'm going to take a little bit on a smaller pencil dome brush and pat it on the lower lash line too. And I'm going to take a blending brush and blend the edges just to ensure that there's no harsh lines. So I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer. So I went in with this beautiful copper goldish bronze shade and I'm going to apply this on my lids. Then I'm taking this deeper, richer chocolate brown, apply this in the outer corners, in the outer V, okay? This is going to define the eyes. Just like I defined my cheekbones or my contour powder, the same thing goes for the darker shades in the outer V. I'm just deepening it and adding a little bit of dimension. And I'm just pressing it into the corners and slowly tapping to blend it out. I'm adding a little bit on the lower lash line too, just to give some extra definition. And this is going to really smoke out the eye too. Make sure you go back in with your previous blending colors and a blending brush just to ensure everything is blended. Like I said, you just want to blend. Makeup is all about blending, guys. Now I'm just applying a little color in the inner corner. And now it's time to line my lids. Oh, this Urban Decay pen. Man, I used this the first time and I didn't like it because it wasn't coming out. It wasn't fluid enough. After the second and third time, it started working fantastic. And I really do like this. It lasts for a long time and it's super black and rich. I wanted to add a pop of color, so I'm going in with this lime green eye pencil from Urban Decay just to put in my waterline. I don't know, I just wanted a pop of color, so I went with this pencil. If you are intimidated by color, just adding a color in one area is definitely a way you can slowly get used to adding color to your eyeshadow looks. I'm going to add a couple coats of mascara to my eyelashes, and then I'm going to proceed to my lips. After lining, I went with this Urban Decay lipstick. This is one of their newest lipsticks in their line, and I really do love the formula of it. Um, and it lasts very long too, so I'm just going to blend it into that lip liner. I'm gonna add a little gloss and the look is complete guys um, this was a very simple and straightforward look it's actually the perfect makeup tutorial to step into fall sort of kind of even though I have that lime green eyeliner on my waterline it still came out cute let me know what you thought down below would you recreate this look what else you want to see from me do you want me to continue to post makeup tutorials or would you guys like more of a get ready with me style video where I show like my hair makeup outfit stuff like that let me know down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one